What's your favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour Nate, Patch just name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't vegan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how's it going? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today we will be talking about vegans, okay? Now, vegans are uh, a group of people that I've frequently talked about on this channel. You know, I have no problem with vegans at all, but the ones who go out on TikTok and uh, display their animal rights activism on there, they're just the people I kind of like to make fun of, okay? You know, I won't even lie. I think it's funny that they're uh, defending animal rights, but that's just my opinion, okay? I, I don't mind if you support that type of stuff, but if you're gonna go out on TikTok and tell people they're bad people just for not being vegan, that's where you messed up. I'm gonna make fun of you for that. Anyways, today we're gonna be talking about Jubilee, okay? They made this video called Six Vegans versus One Secret Meat Eater, Odd Man Out, and I've reacted to Odd Man Out on this uh, channel. Basically what they do is they'll get like uh, six vegans and one secret meat eater and everybody's acting like a vegan but then they need to figure out who the meat eater is that's acting like a vegan so today you and i are going to actually try to guess who the meat eater is out of all of them so yeah that's the video for today let's take a look hello good human hello welcome to another episode of odd man now what are we wearing we're wearing the good, good human, human sweater yes, you guys right. asked for it we got like so many dms from people asking for the sweater so we are dropping Another limited badge available on Good Human. Okay, Mr. Jubilee Twins, I did not come to uh, be sold to your merch, okay? I just want to see a bunch of vegans battling it out and figuring out who the meat eater is. Let's let's skip to that. What's your favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour Nate, Patch just name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't vegan. We brought together seven vegans. I am vegan. I am vegan. I'm a vegan. I am vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am vegan. I am vegan. One is a liar. Yeah, I'm just gonna say right now that I have no idea who it is, dude. They all look like vegans. I don't know. I feel like every single one of these guys and girls could pass as a vegan. I'm honestly pretty clueless, okay? This is the, one of the first times this has ever happened. Usually on the odd man's out, I can kind of tell just from the lineup and who, who's who's it and who isn't. But this one's a little bit harder, okay? They made they made the standards a little bit higher for this one. They they all look like vegans. I'm really curious on how I can be a part of this show, man. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish I was on this show's sometimes just because it seems pretty fun and it's not like they're doing this for live television or anything they're just doing this for their youtube channel so i mean hey man free promo am i right hey jubilee hit me up if you ever need an extra actor you know i'll behave i promise i i won't make fun of your set or anything I, i'm just here to uh, uh be a part of the show if the group discovers who the liar is they'll split a cash prize if the liar survives he or she wins the entire prize Okay, Brandon, yes. what do you eat for breakfast? Okay, speaking of breakfast, dude, it's currently 11 a.m. and I still have not eaten a single gram of food yet today, man. I don't know why I do this to myself, but uh, I'll always be forgetting to eat my first meal of the day. That probably contributes to the fact that I I'm grumpy a lot of the time. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys relate to this or I don't even know why I'm saying this in the first place. But yeah, man, I guess that's a reminder to everybody watching this video. If you haven't eaten yet today, eat, dude, because uh, I'm kind of grumpy. This morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot cereal. Add almond milk and some water. Okay. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like, I know people do, but I'm looking at him and his body language and how he's telling me, and I'm going, you just had buckwheat? <laughs> I eat buckwheat every single day for breakfast, and I feel like that's a normal thing. Okay, Mr. Brandon, I'm just gonna say right now that I have never eaten buckwheat in my life, okay? I've never had it, not once, so I, I'm not sure what you're saying when you mean I, I think it's a normal thing, because it's not. I've never met anybody that likes buckwheat, dude. What even is buckwheat? Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Buckwheat. It's a, it's a, what is that, dude? What, dude? Imagine waking up on a nice Saturday morning thinking to yourself, all right, I think I'm going to uh, serve myself some buckwheat. Buckwheat, bro, what is that? But everyone acted like, it was a weird thing. Okay, Brandon, I kind of feel bad now. Uh, just because you are a little bit insecure about your breakfast choices, I will re retract my statement about what I said about buckwheat. I think it's okay, you know? I think it's normal that you're eating buckwheat. Actually, no, it's not, dude. No, I'm just playing. I didn't mean to be uh, so harsh on you, Brandon, okay? Um, I'll be honest, I eat everything on bread. I have to. Because, like, I just, I'm a recent vegan. I've been vegan for, like, five months. It's a challenge I did for myself. I have a question. What are y'all's favorite restaurants? You guys check out North Hollywood. There's this like 
awesome. It's really it's Cajun vegan. Oh yes, uh, yes. You know, um, dude, I literally been taking. Oh my gosh, I talk, I took it? my friend Hannah. She's actually a big YouTuber Something. as well. Everything that came out of his mouth was super random. All right, who asked you, uh, Elizabeth? You know, maybe our guy over here is just a random guy who says a lot of random things. You know, that's kind of how I am, you know? Also, they asked what <laughs> restaurants they liked, and the guy just answered the question pretty simply. I mean, I don't think that's really that random at all, but uh, let's just keep going. Um, Brandon, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. Yeah. What do you get at Taco Bell? Taco I get Bell. a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. Off topic, but this is something that kind of pissed me off. So the Taco Bell in my city just completely stopped selling Doritos Locos Tacos, bro. Like, they just aren't selling them anymore. I don't know if it's because of the fact that I've pulled up so many times. Who really knows? But yeah, that's just been something that has kind of frustrated me recently. Uh, I don't know really why I I'm telling you guys this, but I, I feel like I need to. Honestly, Taco Bell, if you're watching this video, bring them back. Bring them back now. Sweet. Also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their, like, in their wraps? I hope they don't. Yeah, I hope they don't I've... either because then that wouldn't be vegan. I don't know why she was coming at me. I don't know if it's like the way I look. I don't look like a vegan. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. I felt like I was like, all right, if I mess up, I can keep on doing it. So I challenged myself on five months in and I was like, all right, I'm gonna continue doing it. Okay, in all reality, regardless of how much I diss the crazy vegans on this channel, uh, I feel like, I think that living a veganistic lifestyle, you know, isn't really all that bad, because in retrospect, it's been proven scientifically that it's a lot healthier for you, so if you're somebody who cares a lot about your health, then that wouldn't really be a bad option at all. I would assume that a more healthy lifestyle is, you know, typically the reason why most people go vegan, but who knows. Body, so... Took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food chef. I'm a yoga teacher now. Um, yeah. I went vegan kind of as like a transition. I was pescatarian for 10 years. Um, and we have two minutes. Um, I so, wanna, can we ask, oh, not, I don't wanna cut you off. Yeah, but I wanna ask specific so, questions to people. But. What is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the? Oh, help me go vegan? I kinda watched like those YouTube ones. Which ones, like what, what name one? I don't remember the names. I like saw them in the blogs that I was talking about and like. Which blog? Um, it was called, it was like this girl, her name is Emma. I gave her the side, I like, hmm, you don't know what blog, you don't know what post, you don't know this, you don't know, you don't know anything. I mean, in her defense, I'm kind of the same way, you know, I really don't know what I look at when I look at the internet, you know, I just kind of brainlessly wander around on the internet half the time, so I mean, I can definitely see where she's coming from. I don't know, man, dude, if I was her, I wouldn't be able to, you know, recognize the blog or video I was looking at either, dude, because like, it's, it's the internet. I watched the VR. This actually helped encourage me. And I watched um, from a first person perspective. Ooh, yikes. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Cows getting butchered. Oh, no. From you could see them getting cut up. Six. Red oh, five. So, like, that Four. was Three. really traumatizing. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Okay, just off topic, could you, could any of you guys ever even imagine just deciding to put on a VR headset and then you decide, hey, I kind of want to watch a cow being murdered, you know, that's just kind of what I want to do today. Like, what normal person thinks to do that? I don't know, bro, I just, I, just, I don't see why you would do that. I mean, why don't you go there if you're vegan? I thought Aaron was pretty aggressive, but in all the best ways for a game like this, like she asked all the like heavy hitting questions, which is exactly um, how it should have been. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one, name one. Nerds, Sour Make, Patch name Kids, one. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. I thought they were, but no, do, they not have, do they have gelatin no, in them? Sour Patch Kids. Okay. Maybe I'm not a vegan. I don't. <laughs> Poor Brandon, bro. He didn't even know that he was crossing the boundaries of being a vegan and not a vegan. Uh, he he kind of just got exposed. <laughs> like I don't, I don't. <laughs> I thought they were. But I mean, you know. What's your favorite candy? I don't eat candy. Really? Same. Yeah, I don't. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because typically when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. Bye guys. Bye.
Hi, Brandon. See ya. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the end because I, I want to eat dinner. I'm also very curious to see who the actual uh, meat eater is because uh, I'm also a meat eater myself. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, which one out of the seven decides to reveal themselves to be a part of the brotherhood. So yeah, let's peep it. You voted the liar out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box and you lose. Okay, everyone looks nervous. So I feel a little bit more secure in this. Oh, Dang, oh, dog. Guys. Oh, Found them all. Oh, yeah. 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 I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, so our brother has came out of the woods to finally reveal himself. It's a great time, you know, everybody's cheering, and uh, yeah, I guess the conclusion that we can draw from this video is to eat meat, fellas. It's good for you. I feel like I've already said that enough on the channel. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. I'm not here to force you, though. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Peace. Maybe you can save.